Hey, PG Jamie here, and today we're going to work on some tag and some taggage going on, y'all. So let's head over to the desk where we're already starting. <laughs> So y'all saw from the promo that we were using the Prima stamps, and these are, uh, you know, your planner and calendar type stamps, so, mm -hmm. and I'm using the platform because I like the platform, y'all. Now, all in all, this project, um, well, just on two tags, it took me like 45 minutes, y'all. I had issues, which I'm going to show y'all them issues, but nonetheless, I have whittled the video down to 17 minutes. 17 minutes and 12 seconds, but we're going to call it 17 minutes, y'all. So we're going to cut her out. I don't know if they make dies for these little girl die doll, prima doll, whatever they're called. I, I don't know. But I'm cutting it out because I don't have any dies for it. Mm -hmm. Slowly. Oh, y'all, there's a list of ingredients in the description box below. Mm -hmm. Click on the word more to see more. Mm -hmm. Now let me just jump out there right away and say if my voice gets out of sync, you know, the audio and the video don't quite match yet. Mm -hmm. That's just, you know, becoming a trademark of mine. All right. All right. So this is a computer generated um, sentiment I have for the front and I have some for the back as well. This is something my computer printed quite some time ago. It's been several months. Might have even been a year. I don't know been a while so there I am just trimming it out and I'm going to use some distress oxide inks oh, I love those y'all and this is one I got at uh, 2019 Hobby Lobby 75% off clearance dollar fifty mm -hmm. my Hobby Lobby had it like that thank you Hobby Lobby I appreciate y'all so anyhow, just inking around, and that's an embossed uh, card. I've already cut out my cards. Uh, I've done a front and a back because I wanted them embossed differently. And uh, the Doris um, embossing folders that I used. So I'm just inking on the front, and in a minute we'll be doing the back. In a minute, any day now. Any day, y'all. Oh, I love that oxide inks. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I do slap and drag it. Not this time. Mm hmm Just you don't have to. There's my girl. Set her aside. Kind of get the lined out there. What are we doing? Oh, now we're going to ink the back. Get ready, y'all. I'm going to use a little piece of cardstock just to hold that to keep it from wiggling around and so I don't get too much oxide inks on my hands because, you know, it tends to stain this dry skin of mine. Mm hmm And I'm using two different colors can't quite tell that it's two different colors in the end. Oh, right, three. I'm using three. <sighs> well, I got honey and uh, amber, and I'm going to use that coral. And that's the color of the year, living coral. Although the oxide ink isn't called living coral. I think it's called abandoned coral. And I think it's so neat that they named uh, this year's color chose this year's color after after uh, Coral Grimes, you know, from The Walking Dead. I know, only they got it backwards and they, when they called it Living Coral. Mm -hmm. That's an inside Walking Dead fan thing. <laughs> y'all. So y'all saw I spritzed it with just a little bit of water, dobbling it off, dobbling off. Look, look, look. Now, we're going to be getting into my troublesome issue. I wanted to do some embossing, and that's that's a stamp and die set that I got quite some time ago, many months ago, uh, on clearance. And uh, I don't know how much I paid for it, and I'm not even sure where I bought it from, to tell you the truth. So, um, it's an anti-static thing. Yeah. And I want that chicken because I there's another chick that came with it y'all notice it had stripes on it and I've used that one before and it was fine but this one's not fine but I can just be so dang hard-headed sometimes y'all mmm fiddlesticks y'all and uh, I just I'm like I'm gonna use it no matter what come AT double hockey sticks high water I'm gonna use it mm-hmm yeah so I'm going to try, I'm using my embossing ink on there, 
stamping. Part of it's not stamping. And I'm like, what's going on? Why is it not doing? I'm sure I got it. Smooshy, it's smooshy. It's still not there. What's going on? So I'm just going to stick some cardstock behind there. Maybe, maybe the stamp's just not quite even. So, you know, do that. Oh, well, put some more behind there. <laughs> That's a good thing about this platform. When you get it all lined up and you make sure you get it lined up, and it just doesn't matter. You can move it and it, you know, as long as you get it back where it's supposed to be, it's fine. Mm hmm. 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 Well, let's just proceed on. We're going to use some black powder on here. Mm hmm. Not to be uh, confused with those old fashioned black, black powder shotgun things. From way back in the day you know they still use those and uh, they have um, competitions and stuff for black powder I guess they're rifles not shotguns I don't know what they are y'all I don't have one oh he gun <laughs> he gun y'all there'll be a little bit of heat gun in this one some melt that powder and then I'm going to fetch my embossing uh, ink pen. It's just clear ink. I've got, I guess I've got a couple of different colors over there. I don't know. And um, so let's put some ink on there. See if we can't kind of fix this chick up. It's, it's a cute little chicken, y'all. Well, the top part of the chicken's cute. I don't know what's up with that bottom part of the shell. That's just terrible. And just between you and me, I've already thrown this particular acrylic stamp away. I might ought to pull it back out and just use the top part. But no, seriously, I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll probably never use it again because it was just so frustrating. Just get rid of it. So now I'm going to put a piece of fun foam back there and see if I can't pop that up and help it out a little bit. You know, it's a little better. Not a lot better. Just a little better. Okay. And I'm making several tags, as y'all may have saw from the uh, thumbnail, okay? I don't know why I just keep insisting on doing something, because I just it just gets in my brain, and I just can't turn it loose sometimes. Mm, 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 mm. It works out okay in the end. They're cute. Mm -hmm. I think they're cute. I hope the people that get them in the car lottery think so it's cute. I don't know. Hopefully they'll tell me they even got them. Hey, can y'all? <laughs> so I used the die, and the die didn't work very well with this particular stamp either. Very frustrating. So I'm just going to cut them out by hand. Now you see why I throwed that one away. Because the stripey wouldn't work. Do, do these st uh, stamps sometimes shrink? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to move on and glue the front, or not glue, we're not using wet glue, we're going to double-sided tape, ATG, y'all, and um, the front to the back is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Putting it on there, and line it up, have to trim just a little, little tiny bit, just a little tiny, tiny bit. I guess I probably could have left it on there, but it would have bothered me. I don't know why some things bother me and some things don't. Are y'all like that? Are y'all as hard-headed as me? You get something in your brain and you just won't let it go. You're like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. That's what I said. I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So we locked off the corners on the top and we're rounding the corners on the bottom because that's what most tags look like. I guess a lot of tags have, you know, squared off corners on the bottom, but I like to round them. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to ink. Gonna ink around it, y'all. I'm getting so good at doing that. <laughs> I don't know how long I can do it, but hmm. so what are we gonna do now? I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, is we gonna glue the girl on finally? We finally gonna glue her on. What's with the foam tape, y'all? <laughs> Just popping up the sentiment that's gonna go on the front over her feet area. We're going to glue her down. Later on, I, I end up putting the washi tape on first, so she'll be like having a ground to stand on, you know, so she's not just floating around because she didn't have any wings on her. Ooh, we could have put wings on her. That would have been cute, y'all. Cute. Now, this is the front of the tag. 
guy knows how nice and delicate it looks you know it's all nice and delicate and feminine and mm -hmm. that's the plan man just a note to say the punchline which will be on the back and you'll see later <laughs> Well, you've probably already seen it if you've examined the uh, thumbnail. Oh, well. Any hoodles? I'm using washi tape. Aren't y'all proud of me? I'm trying to use it up. So let's glue our little chick on. Mm-hmm. Get on there, chick. Put some glue on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, now what are we going to do now? Because I'm not going to show you the punchline yet, even though I show it to you in the thumbnail, which is just, I don't know why I even call it a punchline anymore. So now we're just going to glue on these. These are uh, Angel Craft, and I get them from the King Dollar in Humble, y'all. Humble, Texas, y'all. And it is pronounced uh, Humble. You humble yourself before the Lord, and you chop in Humble. Any hoots, uh, I'm going to take the last one because there's four of them and there's like a half of one. So I'm going to take the, because they're just real thin, fairly thin little plastic bits. So I'm going to cut this one in half, y'all. It worked pretty good. So now I'm just piddling with that washi tape because I think I'm going to use it on the tag part up top. You know, we tie, we typically tie ribbons and junk like that. Oh, look how cute. But I don't tie, I don't tie them on there. Oh, let's, speaking of ribbons, let's use some seam binding. And we're going to spray some uh, inks on there, y'all. Mm-hmm. Any minute. Any day now. So I probably should have replaced that sheet in the bottom there because it picked up a little whatever darker colors down there. But that's okay. I let it go because I'm that kind of girl. So we're going to set that aside and we're going to, what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to stamp out some little eggs, y'all. I think these are Tim Holtz eggs. I'm not positive. Okay. I'm not, I may not even put these in the list of ingredients in the description box below. Click on the word more to see more. Oh, and there's other information down there, too, y'all. Just saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tip jar. <laughs> Helps with postage. They went up on postage. Holy cow, they went up on postage. Just saying. Now, this one's... Uh, got just little dots on it and I'm putting it on there so now it looks like a speckled egg y'all they so cute and tiny cutting those out because I'm gonna uh, I got some uh, faux twine over there I'm gonna use can y'all hear Molly she's snoring oh I said her name so she quit <laughs> next time I'll try to catch it for y'all Sleep breathing, not snoring. She's sleep breathing. So there we are with my weird little string. I'm going to tie a knot sort of in, sort of, and cut the little seam biting. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ken. <laughs> drying it up. It's drying up. I can squish it with my hands now so we can get some little wrinkles going on in there. Squish it, squish it. Mm -hmm. Trim it, cut it. Later on, I'm saying I don't even trim them. I just like leave them all messy, messy. That 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 chick man just wore me down. I'm telling you. No, I don't like the washi tape on there at all. Well, let's just put our little knot thing on there. Where's the knot? Mm -hmm. I know I didn't punch a hole in it. And we'll get my tiny attacher out. Y'all know. Y'all seen my tiny attacher? Just wait for it. Ta-da! I got a new one. This one really is tiny. It doesn't staple so well. I don't know how often I'll use it, but it's so cute, y'all. It's pretty. Me and my friend Alice got them at the Pier 1. They were on clearance. <laughs> Staples costed more than the stapler. Just saying. So now we got that on there. I'm like, oh, that's cute. I like it. Where's my egg? Let's glue the egg on the end of that string thing. Double-sided. I'm just putting one egg on there because that's what I felt it like. Just a little extra decoration. Just a little extra decoration, y'all. <sighs> I 
wiping off the excess glue because I don't like excess glue. Just saying, because I don't. Smooshing it and smashing it and smooshing it. Now you see why it took me so long to make a couple little tags. That silly egg chick. Look at that chick. Aw, look at it. Cute. I make me happy. <laughs> I hope your art makes you happy. I really do. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back of my hand because I don't have my palette over there to put it on. I'm just going to smoosh it off the back of my hand. It's perfectly fine, y'all. Mm -hmm. Non-toxic. Aileen's original. It's my favorite. Thanks again, Vaughn. <sighs> there we are, gluing on our back sentiment. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> it's just a note to say. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, darn, those staples are showing on that side. So let's just put the, a little twist of um, seam binding on the front then. That'll cover it up. That'll fix it. That'll make it all better. Thanks so much, everybody. I appreciate your valuable time, your kind comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribing. If you've not already done so, please take a moment to do so at this time. Thank you. Photo montage. <laughs> loves you. This was a fun, if not aggravating. <laughs> it was aggravating there with that, chick, that chicken right there. Oh, thanks so much, everybody. <laughs> Appreciate you. Uh, uh. Disclaimer screen. Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.